thing to add to the grocery list. Hey, honey, I think we need to go to the grocery store soon. But yeah, for sure, hun. Hey, you know what? I know you've been asking me to take more initiative lately. I'll, I'll do the groceries. Yeah, let me. I'll, I'll take the mental load off you. Do the groceries. I'll get it done. Oh, awesome, hun. That'd be great. Thank you. Yeah, just make me a list, and uh, you know, I'll, I should be able to get there today or tomorrow. Wait, I'm confused. You just said you're gonna take the mental load off me. Yeah, I'll I'll go do the groceries. I, I just I need a list. Zach, what do you think you mean by taking the mental load off me? Like you're always talking about mental load. I'm gonna do more around the house. Just kind of use my eyes. Like I know groceries are like a huge thing all the time. Like it just it's a daily grind item. I'm gonna help you out here because I can tell you're kind of struggling. So what you'd be doing is you'd be having me delegate the grocery shopping to you. Take mental load off me also means making a list, looking around in the cabinets, asking the kids what they need, looking ahead at the week what we have coming up. To you know, do we have people coming over? Do we need to have extra stuff? Once you make that list, I think then checking in with me saying, hey, this feels like a complete complete list, is there anything you want to add? That I think would actually be taking mental load off me. Going to the grocery store takes execution and physical and domestic labor off me, but not the mental load. Pete, loved your video to Stitch. Thank you for having me on your podcast. For those who don't know me, hi, my name's Zach. I'm a recovering man child. Hi, Zach. I'm an invisible labor educator for men. Men that struggle with things like the book relationship goals consult see at the December cohorts that are coming.